Hi, welcome to the Quixotry Workshop. My name is Christoph, and this week we are finally getting to the point where I can put some electrolyte into the machine, into the HHO or Brown's gas generator. Last week uh, I finished off uh, to this point, and all I did uh, in the meantime was uh, do the plumbing. I've added all the hose, I'm not going to go into the detail of that. If you purchase the plans, uh, you'll see exactly how to connect all the pipes. Um, so all the plumbing is done and I've got a little funnel here and I'm, I'm going to fill it up with uh, electrolytes and we're going to mix it. I'll show you how to mix it and let's start. So here we have uh, some potassium hydroxide. This is uh, used for people that make soap. And um, you can see on the label there it says hazardous. And this is 500 grams. Um, so the ideal mix uh, is about 28%. So what I have here um, is enough water. I measured off. Uh, about uh, you can use distilled water or if you can collect rain water from a clean uh, roof then we we just mix the potassium hydroxide into the water never ever put water to the if you are interested uh, to mix this properly watch my other video on my channel about mixing the KLH from this funnel, it, it goes in from the bottom of the machine and it fills it up from the bottom so there's no air that gets trapped. As you can see, um, the water level in the machine is there. I can see this is going to be my water level gauge. And it's almost, almost halfway. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Goes there. I'm just going to put clean water into the bubbler. And then this is the safety device. It's like that and it seals it. We are ready to switch it on. Until I'm confident that the machine is not going to do anything weird, I just wear ear protection as a precaution.
is the bubbles coming. the hose and I did a test and I found that uh, it wasn't necessary to have this so long so I shortened this but what I did is um, I added this on top of the filling cap by collecting the hydrogen oxygen at a higher point I'm eliminating any chance that the electrolyte comes into this line and contaminate this water so that problem was solved with this piece and then what I did here is I've, I've changed just until I trust the machine uh, I've changed this into a flashback uh, extra bubbler also extra safety um, so let's start this up and test the flame I'm going to wear this, it's always good to wear ear protection. I'm pushing it all the way up to 10 amps. to heat up this big chunk of metal as a, um, a way of seeing how it compared to the previous time and it heats it up faster I can see it goes to melting point within a few seconds you can see the sparks flying there and then uh, melting some aluminium uh, without a flux it's not uh, possible to weld the aluminium but I'm, I can melt it and maybe do some experiment later costing aluminium and you can see it very very quickly and then uh, let's try this piece of metal see how quick this thinnest piece about five millimeters thick and it heats it up within a few seconds to melting point. Extremely, extremely hot flame. But it is an oxidizing flame, so it's not easy to weld metal with this without using the flux or without adding other gases. The brown's gas has got a lot of oxygen in it, so it can cut steel. 
not steal from the Queen's of Eve. But let's see uh, if, if it can... Yeah, very nice. It's a very handy tool to have in a workshop. I think with a little bit of extra air, you could have a plasma cutter. Um, it just it lacks uh, air uh, to blow out the molten metal. Maybe I can experiment with that later with an extra nozzle that that uses compressed air just to blow out the molten metal. One of the materials that's especially uh, nice to, to weld together is copper. If, you just, if I just place this piece on top of that piece and just heat it up. It's definitely welded. And look at all the oxidation on this but there where the weld is it's, it's fine aluminium brazing flux let's see how it works So you can you can weld aluminium with this beautifully. Look at that. Should you want to take a thicker piece of aluminium? Use a thicker piece. This is with a super cheap uh, aluminium flux. Any brazing uh, copper, the similar metals, uh, silver solder, cast iron. But as you can see, uh, the the tower of bubbles did go a little bit higher than I expected, but um, this pipe is still. Dry. There's no no bubbles coming into this pipe, and it stays. Despite the machine getting hotter, it's it's hot, but it's not majorly hot. I can still I can hold it. It's been running for more than a half an hour now, and flame is very constant. 
water is circulating through this and it's actually cooling off I feel the difference between the water coming in this is hot and here it's cooler and then here by the end yeah it's cool so the water goes from the hot end through so what I had to do is the radiator was turned this way and I had problems with air, air traps, um, bubbles, air locks. Um, so I turned it flat and it solved the problem. There you can see the, the hydrogen coming out at the top and at the bottom it feeds it's new yeah it's cool it's cooler cooler um, fluid coming in the bottom because of the radiator so there is steam forming that's also why I, I would like to have this there so I can actually see the amount of steam there is room for improvement uh, with a better radiator but for now I'm happy with the way it is and proof of concept it does work to add a radiator to the machine this is not the most effective radiator it will, will be much more effective if the if the fluid is in direct contact with the with the metal but um, it does transfer some of the heat to the aluminium and it, it is blowing out heat at the bottom there. I also want to add here that uh, in my plans I made the two electrolyzers at the bottom bigger. These are 100 millimeter in diameter and the plan is 160 so there will be less heat because the plate surface is bigger altogether so that will solve a uh, big um, issue that I had because my plate surface is too little and there's no leaks it's dry down here I'm very happy I think it's a great success Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this uh, mini series about the HHO or Brown Sketch Generator. From what I've learned here, I'm going to update my plans um, a little bit. And then if you're interested, uh, contact me. There's my, my email is in the description. Just send me a message and I hope you have a great week.